All right, are you ready for retirement? Yes. Don't yell at us. It's okay if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet, not today, but in the future I would like to retire. So Ben Fuchs is a certified financial planner and founder of Fuchs Financial. He's telling us how we can set ourselves up for a secure retirement. We can't have this conversation without everyone around the studio, including his listeners, probably freaking out, whoa, the market. But you're saying it's okay. Just oh, yeah. breathe. So the first thing is, yeah, take a breath. It's okay. Take a breath. Relax. We're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> or cry, whatever you want to do. Don't <laughs> let me stop you. But keep in mind your time frame. Are you retiring tomorrow? If the answer is no. That's a good start. Right. And if you don't need this money, if you're not going to touch this money for another five to ten years, great. The most important thing is that if you're contributing to a retirement plan, you want to put as much money as you possibly can into your employer plan, your 401k, 403b, 457, whatever you have, and put as much as you comfortably can. And you are, and I know you don't want to hear this, but you are buying on sale. Right? Yeah, if this is the clearance sale for stocks. So does this market decline disrupt the income in retirement? It can. I mean, there's a reality. If you're a year or two away from retirement and you've seen, you know, you could be all invested in technology stocks. The right. other day, they were down by 25 percent. I saw. I, saw I, I was like, there's not much more that I could lose. I mean, it was like 11,000. That's that. not. That's not a great omen, man. <laughs> but please, you know, do me a favor. <laughs> no, I was like 11,000 down, but, down oh, to yeah. 11,000. The, the Nasdaq. Right. I was like, oh my god. But again, if you have the opportunity to buy something at a 25 or even 30 percent discount, right. you do, do it. it right? right. And if you're not going to sell it for another 10 to 15 years, what? A great opportunity. Right. With that said, if you are close to retirement, you don't want to be in that position. I think what's important for people that are close to retirement, that don't have a long time frame, that did just see a big decline, is to take a look at what they have and the total amount of money they have. If I were to, will this keep me from living my lifestyle in retirement? Okay. If I take what I have, do I have that? plus the income that I'm going to get, Social Security, pension, is that going to be enough for me to live comfortably in retirement? And if it is, then maybe we should make some changes now so you don't have so many heart palpitations. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm thinking about kind of scaling back, maybe a little bit more conservative. Depending on your time frame. Yeah. So if you're well, 15 thinking, years away from retirement, which well, you're at God least 20 years, you, right? 20, I appreciate 30, that. You don't want to make any changes now. Yeah. Okay. But if you are closer, then you might want to scale back. Scale back, okay. Very so the good thing point. that I think a lot of people don't have, right, and we know mm -hmm. this from statistics, but would make a difference is you need a safety net or a contingency right. plan. So if you have some sort of access to money that's not your retirement account, yeah. you feel safer. Yeah, I, my clients are sick of hearing me say this, but any type of retirement plan needs to have three buckets, right? You need to have your growth because if you're retired, hopefully you're still going to live a long time and you still have to deal with inflation. You need your income because you need to know where you get your money from when you're retired and you need to have your safety net, right? When the market crashes, where do I pull money from? And if you have those things, then times like these, even though they're scary, even though reports are saying it's the worst stock market, you know, beginning of the year since 1942 or worst the stock market beginning of the year since 1939, then we can still take a breath and be okay. But the important thing is to have a plan. Do you recommend keeping any cash, like on hand? Absolutely. Okay. Sure. Like a percentage of. It, it or depends just on. It, it, safety net is, can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. I think the rule of thumb, if you're working, is three percent. If you're, um, if you have two working people in a household, you want to have about. Uh, oh. Wow, man! You just. That's I, okay. I, I Oprah blip. always said to me, six months of mortgage. Three months is if you have two working house people. Six months if you are one the head of household. Okay. So that, that is, that's you, the rule of thumb I live by. Yes, very okay, good. Okay, so three months of all of your expenses. Of all of your expenses. <laughs> like right. that would be your emergency fund. So like right. if people don't have that. Does, it, does that mean they stop contributing to their 401k and do that? Or you do that first and, 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 and build up? It depends on your time frame, right? Again, if you are 10 years away from retirement, don't stop contributing to the 401k. Right, now. even now, even keep, now. Buy, keep investing, right. keep going. But if you're not, or if you're worried about job security, that's a different story. If you're worried about job security, then you do need to build up that safety net. It's much more important at that time. But the, the, the bottom line is here, if we're thinking about retirement or we're just, it, we're, even if we are, if I, get in touch with you. Sure. You know, and you'll be able to help right. us wave, right. get, get through these give waves. Give us a call, call my team. We give complimentary consultations. Find us at FuchsFinancial.com. You can give us a call, but we're happy to sit down with you and take a look at your plan. And I, I heard somebody say this the other day. You know, if I'm going down a road and I think I have the right directions, but I'm worried I might be veering off to the side. Right. How soon do I want to find out if I'm going in the wrong direction? Right, exactly. Right away. Right away. Right. So give us a call and let us help you. Okay. Right. I think sometimes people are like, oh, no, I don't know if I should make it, or I have to be wealthy. And the answer is no. no. Just get, on, get a plan. Get a plan. Okay.